This former greenhouse in Langley houses a farm operation. It looks average enough on the outside, but inside, the livestock is not what you'd expect. We're a farming activity here. Uh, we're operating a hatchery, we are operating insect rearing, so instead of growing chickens, for example, we're growing larvae. The only one of its kind, this plant here, the farm operation that we have, and it was really a challenge from David Suzuki, uh, who said, how else can we feed fish in fish farms? Rather than feeding them ground up fish in their pellets, can we use something else? These are black soldier flies, and millions of their larvae are grown to become high quality food for animals and plants. Once the insect larvae is fully grown, uh, we harvest them, uh, we then wash them, we cook them and dry them. And that product, which is just protein and oils mainly, uh, goes to a feed manufacturer who would make uh, feed for fish, chickens, pigs, and we also make pet food. The adults are easy care guests as they have no mouths, but their larvae do eat. Their food, known as feedstock, is regulated by the Canadian Food Inspection Agency because they will become part of the human food chain. If it's post-consumer food waste, we can't deal with that because it's had some kind of human contact. Uh, it doesn't fit the CFIA regulations. Feedstock here, again, it's mainly fruits and vegetables. It comes from grocery stores. Um, it comes from the food processors, food packagers, uh, the people who make uh, the salads for the hotels and uh, the pre-prepared foods in your grocery stores. A lot of it's packaged, so we depackage here. They are removed from the food and we recycle all of those. We then grind up all the food, uh, so it looks like a fruit and veggie salsa, and that is pumped into tanks. And from the tanks, it's pumped into our insect rearing area and the insects eat it. One of their feedstock suppliers is Fresh Start Foods. We process uh, vegetables as well as fresh fruit. It's for use in hospitals, hotels, restaurants, various food service operations. We would process probably 30 to 40 million pounds of produce a year. 100% of all of, the, all of our organic waste we have uh, will be used in the Antara system to make food or become food. As a, as, a, as a feed product for uh, different chicken and fish. And so that, that, that's really exciting for us. That the two companies are cooperating to maximize the value of the waste resource illustrates a key emerging activity in the waste management industry. We feel like we're trailblazers on this one. We're, we're taking a look at um, the organic waste industry and we're separating it into pre-consumer. We're able to actually capture the nutrients within that material and upcycle it right back into the food chain in, in the form of protein and fertilizer. Whereas um, post-consumer, that's perfect for composting and anaerobic digestion where you're capturing the energy. I mean, these are complex food nutrients that Mother Nature has created. Why tear them apart? Having resources available to companies which can maximize their value builds ecological and economic vibrancy in a region. We must protect our resources because once they're gone, they're gone. Antara is one of many local businesses that are helping build a circular economy. They understand the region's progressive landscape and reputation and specifically chose to operate here. The team now is a group of almost 30 people. Vancouver is way ahead of most cities in North America in utilizing the resources that we have in our waste. Production by mid next week. Great. These folks need support from industry to say we, we believe in the concept and I, I'm uh, holding a good promise for uh, Enterra folks. It looks like they're doing a very good job. Enterra products are selling well in the United States and once Canadian federal approval is obtained, the goal is to supply local farmers. We have to think about what we're doing now with all our waste materials. Being able to enhance values of those streams and, and produce more food locally is very important. It's about local food security. 